He was fired after the city caught him visiting restaurants, stores, and other places in his city truck on city time. But now a Tampa Public Works employee speaking out, saying he was not the only worker wasting taxpayer money. ABC Action News I-Team investigator Adam Walser has this exclusive report. But I was never told that I couldn't get the truck to ride around. Mark Williams was fired by Tampa Public Works last week. For nearly 15 years, he set up and took down cones and signs for special events like <laughs> Bucks games, <laughs> Gasparilla, <laughs> and the Republican National Convention. I might work 15, I might work 18. It done been times I don't work 21 hours in one day. The ABC Action News I team discovered Williams earned $111,000 in overtime over the past 10 years. But between February 3rd and February 7th, this discipline report says Williams barely did any work at all. After receiving anonymous complaints that his truck was seen outside his assigned work area, the city put a GPS tracker on Williams' assigned vehicle. The markers on this map show three dozen unauthorized stops Williams made during that week, including IKEA. The IKEA, you said you're visiting your sister? Yes. The Florida Lottery, the State Child Support Office, Denny's, McDonald's, 7 Eleven. That's just a matter of just riding around. Apartment complexes. Just, just sightseeing, riding. A credit union. Went there to get ATM. And this shopping center. They got a guy that sells Jamaican food. Where records show William spent two hours, 13 minutes on three visits in one day. One of the other guys, because when I bought my food, he wanted some, so I took him back and he went and got him some. Okay. Sometimes you had somebody else right, in the car. Right, right. Like, like every other day. William says the city often paid temporary workers to help him. Well, it always been like that for the last 10 years. They always uh, uh, picked up and, uh, uh, you know, we supervised them. And says it's common for public works employees to do personal errands during downtime. It's a lot of, <laughs> lot of stops, though. Yeah. It's a lot, a lot of, of stops. Stop. But, like I said, it's either I can make those stops or I could be out here sitting around. The city declined an on-camera interview saying the discipline speaks for itself, such as when he traveled out of town the day he was supposed to be working a big event at Raymond James Stadium. While that monster truck show was going on, these GPS records show that Williams was right here at this private residence 16 miles away in Sefner. The tracker showed Williams drove the city truck 100 miles that day, making nine unauthorized stops. Were you ever ever told as part of your employment with the city that you're going to work when you're being paid to work? No, I, I, I was never told. Williams has filed an appeal saying union rules say he should have been reprimanded and suspended before being fired. I'm ABC Action News investigator Adam Walser, taking action for you.